guys on the wall who have little pictures were the guys who spent at least a year at Bassman Lodge. The guys that have the bigger pictures went on to be Grandmaster All Mason in California. Uh, we have several Grandmasters from our little humble lodge. This lodge room is actually the One largest. One of the things in masonry that's required in the United States is uh, a belief in a higher power. It doesn't care what the qualities of character you think the higher power has. The reason that masonry wants you to have uh, a higher power is because if you don't have a higher power, your promise isn't beholden to anyone. And that is really a rabbit hole that people can go down if they want to. Would it be possible to meet another day and have it more um, formal? Maybe, more formal. Maybe what I dress in my cloak with my goat's blood? Yeah, some of the... Some <laughs> of the what is the belief that is held among all which are called Masons? I'll take that one. Every Mason is allowed to have their own creed. We don't ask what God or any entity you believe in. It's just, do you believe in a higher power? You'll see in the middle of the square and compass, um, there's usually a letter G. For most of us, it stands for Grand Architect of the Universe. So I would say the only universal beliefs that anybody would hold as a Mason um, I mean, we teach brotherly love, relief, and truth. And you'll see that slogan all over the place doing any kind of research. We all wish to be better men. So are you guys familiar with the artist Doja Cat? At yes, all? I am. I'm aware of Doja Cat either. Okay. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> well, um, this was interesting because recently for her 27th birthday party, she did a Eyes Wide Shut themed okay. party. And on her cake was the Masonic compass and like square and compass. Yeah, yeah, square and compass. Yeah, so I don't know <laughs> I don't know what the status of that symbol is. There is a lot of Masonic symbolism in media. And, you know, we were like, is that intentional or is it a symbol that's been taken? I think it's in? a symbol that's been around so long that people you know, one they go, Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a nice symbol that everybody knows what you're trying to say pretty much. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you see that symbol, it, I think a lot of people would recognize it as hey, that's Masons or they might think Illuminati. Look, we're we're a society with with you know secrets, we're not a secret society.